All right, so brand new team of the week. This is a program that comes out every Monday during the season. Right now, it's the preseason players. So generally younger guys. We've got Von Bell starting it off. He is the reward set. So if you complete the set that includes all of the other items, you get a Von Bell. We'll dig into his stats. You see the Derrick Henry right there. And of course, you can exchange these items with a gold badge to switch it up for a Team of the Week player. And you can change a Game of the Week, a Team of the Week collectible with a silver badge to get a different collectible. So those are your options. There's also a Dak Prescott 48 hour impacts item, and we will break him down. But first, we'll start at the bottom, and then we'll dig our way up to Von Bell, who has the big hitter chemistry and the Dak Prescott. First things first, AJ McCarron, 84 throw power, probably can't be used with 79 deep. I would pass on him. He'll only be used to go in sets. Nolan Carroll gets an item with 89 speed, 83 man, 80 zone. I think there's going to be better values out there. If you want man coverage, the Jason Berets of the world should cost you less coins. Will Fuller, I really, really like guys. I think that with a good speed, you can actually hit some over-the-top touchdowns this year. We saw Will Fuller last year, his rookie edition in the tournament, make plays when he got added to Mutt. In salary cap, this item, I believe, will beat you deep over the top. I, I will probably try one in my lineup, or at least a player with 91 speed, and he should be pretty inexpensive. So look for him. Flowers had a most feared item last year that was pretty good. I tell you what, there's better options, but 88 strength with 86 block shot, 86 power move, 87 Excel, guys, that's pretty sleepy uh, for a gold right there. And I'm, I'm kind of a fan of the Flowers. Um, pretty decent balance. I think the Cam Haywards and uh, the Allen Baileys, and there's a few other guys that you can get that are budget ballers. But Trey Flowers is kind of a budget baller. An interesting note on the Derrick Henry. So Derrick Henry has dynamic rookie from last year's game. If you brought him in, he's going to upgrade over time. So I believe what will happen is the Derrick Henry that if you have the dynamic version, now turns into this 84 version with increased attributes. So if you have that version, you should check it and see if it matches this one. He has 88 speed, which is nice at this point in the season, let alone agility, which is fine because he's a trucking back, 92 truck, I believe he's got a good stiff arm. At six foot three, this Henry is right up there with the Chris Ivories of the world, but he's a little faster, the LeGarrette Blunts. Uh, you know, Gurley, David Johnson, still kind of the premiums, but he's approaching that. And if he gets one more now, you know, one more upgrade, he's looking really good. Von Bell is the set hero, 88 speed. I liked his uh, addition at the start of uh, last season when he came in at, at uh, the draft. 83 zone, which is a little low, 86 hit power. So it's good. With 82 man coverage, that might be his X factor. That's might what, what might be what gets him on the field a little bit. And we would have to see, you know, if that zone comes back to Hanchi. He's only 5'11". So there's not a ton of great safeties in the game so far, but I still think you can do a little bit better. He is super athletic, though, and this is a guy to monitor moving forward if he can grab one more item. Now, this is the guy everybody's talking about. It's Dak Prescott. He's from the Cowboys, obviously. He has 83 speed, 91 throw power, 87 deep, 89 short, and 84 mid. Now, he's only in packs for 48 hours, so he's going to be pricey. Right now, going for 300K. He's got 77 strength with his carry rating. His carry rating is a big one. It's 67, so it's not what Cam Newton has. Uh, he's got similar speed to Cam and Russell. Good strength is a nice pickup. I like seeing the 87 deep. I like the 91 throw power. 89 short's good. Obviously, the mid is where he's going to struggle. They gave him 90 throw on the run, which is pretty phenomenal at this point in the season and still has 82 play action. Now, I don't think you can spend 300K on Dak Prescott because... You know, you have the Aaron Rodgers out there who's going to give you that conductor chemistry. Two hot routes, I think it's too valuable to pass. But if this Dak Prescott comes down in price, and I'm not saying he will because he's only in packs for 48 hours, but if he gets down to, you know, he's not three times as good as Cam Newton. If Cam Newton's 100K and Dak Prescott's 300K, he's not three times better than Cam. Um, he's not three times better than 
you know, award winner Tyrod Taylor, who is continuously overthrowing the ball for me, but he still doesn't make him three times better. So I do like this item. I think you would have to sell him, though, if you pulled him because of cost. You could earn it back and then wait until he drops. Um, we'll get more reports about how well he plays, but it's exciting to see this guy get a good item, and they made it a really nice, fun item. So if you're a Cowboy fan, you've actually got yourself a shot to win a game this season. Just kidding, Cowboy fans. I like Detroit. Yeah. But that is the first look at uh, Team of the Week in Madden 17. Little preseason action. Remember, check out the sets and uh, subscribe to the channel because we'll be back with reviews every week of the season to see how the new items fall in. We also stream on Sundays here, and as players have big games, we kind of predict how they're going to shape up and uh, how that's going to affect the market come the next day. Uh, like Derrick Henry and Von Bell, two items as young guys, if they can continue to mature. And, you know, if Von Bell gets, you know, I don't know if they're going to do Schefter Stars. I don't know if they're going to do any of those programs again. But they'll continue. They generally continue to build off these ratings. And this is a great that these guys got an early start. Like the next Dak Prescott, think about where he could upgrade. He could go, he'll go above, he'll go potentially to 90 in both short and mid. Or short and deep, he'll his mid will get a little bump, and he could get up to 93 throw power. I mean, the next Dak could continue being a beast. So that's the look at Team of the Week right now.